Did you know it's been 20 years since the NCAA changed the official weight classes that we've been following until this day? Well, in this video, I'm going to tell you about the most impressive college wrestlers during that time, based solely on stats. So let's stop stalling and start talking wrestling. What's up, my name is Josiah, and welcome to Fancare Wrestling, where I talk all about wrestling news tips and lifestyle. And in this video, I'm talking all about wrestling stats on the most impressive college wrestlers since 1999. These are based on the NCAA wrestling college weight changes from 1999 that we've been following until today. So, of course, there are a are even more impressive college wrestlers before that time. However, over the last 20 years, these are the most impressive. Now, I'm basing these mostly on how many titles the guys have won. So, I'm going to look at the how many one-time, two-time, three-time, and four-time national champions that there are. Since that time, there have been 210 total slots available because there are, of course, as you know, 10 weight classes and over 20 years, there have been 21 national tournaments from 99 to 2019. So there have been 210 total national contender slots, national title slots. And I'm going by national titles because, of course, that's, you know, the, the pinnacle of college wrestling. 210 slots. Now, only 143 of these have been filled. Well, how does that work? Well, of course, there are multiple, there are guys who have won multiple titles. That's how that works out. So... Going down the list, first of all, how many one-time champions have there been during this time? There have been 90 national champions that have won one title only. One title only. And, and you know that list goes on and on. I'm not going to dive through every single guy who's won 90 total or those 90 total titles. That'd be a waste of your time. However, two-timers. How many are there? Two-timers. There are 39 two-timers. There's 69 two-timers before the dates that I'm talking about, 1999. Now, again, I think that this list is too big to go through. However, now this is kind of where we start talking about the most impressive college wrestlers, talking about the three-timers and four-timers. Okay, so the three-timers, how many of them are there? Well, first of all, there are 11 three-timers since 1999. Before that, there are actually 19. 19 three-timers um, before that. There are seven three-timers since 2012. I mean, seven after 2012. That's pretty darn impressive. It just shows that we are in an incredible era of wrestling right now, that we get to see how good these guys are on the mat. Now, who are some of these guys? Well, three of them hail from Penn State. Three three-timers are from Penn State. Who are they? Well, Bo Nickel, Jason Nolf, and Zane, Zane Rutherford. And um, actually, I'm wrong. There are four of them because there's Ed Ruth also. So you have Bo Nickel was 135-5. and five. He had a 68-match win streak going into his uh, final title. And he had 94 bonus point victories. I'm going through a couple of these stats. I'm not going to necessarily detail their entire career. I just think it's imp it cool to go through who, who are these impressive wrestlers. Uh, he's a one-time Hodge winner. Then Jason Nolf, although he did not win a Hodge trophy, uh, three-time national title winner, 134-4. and four. He had an 84-match win streak. That's if you don't count the match that he had an injury default out uh, his junior year. Now, if you count that, it's a lot less, obviously, but still one of the most impressive wrestlers. Going down the list, another wrestler, Zane Rutherford, two-time Hodge winner. Uh, and he's a little bit more difficult to win uh, or to uh, made it difficult for Jason Olf to win that Hodge Trophy because of him. He was 128-4. and four. His two losses were to a four-timer in Logan Steber, and he had a 95-match winning streak. Darn impressive. And then Ed Ruth, who you may know in the Bellator, he's a an MMA fighter, three-time national champ, and he was 140 and three, and a two-time Hodge winner. Now there are two guys 
from Oklahoma State. Now, these Penn State and Oklahoma State seem to be the most impressive over this time as far as three-timers are concerned because they have multiple champions from their schools. So Oklahoma State, you have Alex Deeringer, who is a who won 133-4. and four. He had an 83-match win streak, and it was a Hodge Trophy winner. And you also have Jake Roosholt, who was 105-20. and 20. Going down the list a little bit more, Jaden Cox from Missouri, impressive run, uh, three-timer, 133 and five. And I think when we get into the four-timers, a little bit more too, you look at these guys, they have like less than, a, a lot of them have less than five losses on their entire resume, which is darn impressive. Now, of course, there's one guy, and if you're a wrestling fan, you know who it is, who has zero losses on his resume, but just to have a couple losses is impressive, especially because a lot of these losses for a lot of these guys come during their freshman year when they're getting into college wrestling, when they're finally, they're trying to get acquainted with the sport, get adapted to what's going on. Then we have Kyle Snyder, another three-timer, 75-5. and five. Now, why does his record seem so low? Well, that's because he was competing on the world title level in his last couple of years, he was competing on a lot of world title events, and so he didn't necessarily wrestle a full college season. Although winning those three titles showed that you know he didn't necessarily need to be because he was beating up guys at the world level. Another three timer is Stephen Abis from Fresno, 144 and four. He had 46 pins. He's kind of an early 2000s guy. Uh, you may, if you're a newer college wrestling fan, maybe you haven't heard of him, but he is uh, just as impressive as these guys, nonetheless. And then another guy who is a little bit before, you know, 2000s area uh, is Greg Jones from West Virginia, who is 126 and four. Now. Talking about the four timers. So those were all the three timers. Talking about the four timers, other impressive wrestlers. There during this time, there were three, three four time national champions. And in our sport, there have been four, four total. So the other guy who was not did not win four titles during this time was Pat Smith. He won in the 90s, uh, up until 94. So obviously this was before the new weight classes. And if if you're misunderstanding what I'm saying, like that's not diminishing anything that he's doing. This is just me being able to compare these stats for you based on these 20 years. Uh, so it's darn impressive to be a four timer, and there are only a few, hand few of guys, less than a, a hand count of guys who have done it. So first up is Logan Steber who was 119 and 3, only 3 losses on his college resume, 50 pins, 46 tech falls in majors and a Hodge trophy winner. He was a four-timer from Ohio State. Another guy hailing from New York, wrestling at Cornell, uh, Kyle Dake. Kyle Dake went 137 and 4 with 44 pins. He was the only wrestler to earn a title in four separate weight classes and a one-time Hodge trophy winner. And it's kind of crazy to me that these guys, Kyle Dake and Steber, only won one Hodge Trophy during that time whenever they became four-time champs. Now, watching these guys, it's pretty awesome to see. It was pretty awesome to see them win their fourth title. But yeah, it just the fact that they didn't win Hodges before that was, you know, kind of nuts. And of course, the pinnacle of the sport um, is Kale Sanderson. Kale Sanderson is... A four-time national champion, four-time undefeated national champion. His record was 159 and 0. Uh, he's the only amateur wrestler on the cover of Sports Illustrated magazine. Three-time Hodge Trophy winner, uh, Olympian. I mean, Kale Sanderson is just one of the best wrestlers to ever live. He's the, one of the most impressive college wrestlers. Now, what's interesting is that now he's one of the most impressive college wrestling coaches. And if you're now interested, you can find out in this video which colleges have won the most national titles since 1999. It is so cool to get into.